day four of our trip to Millport and it's our last day, we're heading home today. But there's a few things we want to get done before we go. It's been raining overnight, um, not quite as bright and beautiful as it has been the last few days, but it's actually quite pleasant. Um, and plus it's quite early in the morning just now and uh, I'm out for a walk and it's peaceful, it's serene. Apart from that person going past on a, on a glorified hairdryer. Um, one thing I like about that, that Millport here is these trees. It makes it almost feel a little bit tropical. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it's been a fun few days. There's been its highs and lows with uh, breaking phones and things. But um, yeah, it's, it's been a good break and much needed. And like I said, we've still got some things we need to do today. And there's also somewhere we're going to be popping on the way home. But first, I need to retrieve the car from that end of the island. That's where this play tent gets around. I'm pretty sure this was in the garrison's gardens yesterday and now it's, it's down on the front. <laughs> Just walking along Millport front here you can see there's a variety of shops. The yellow one is the premier shop which is kind of your general everyday groceries. Shop kind of with a reddish front there is a uh, Cumbria Customs, who you can get your own printed t-shirts. Moving across, that one there is the Isle of Cumbria Distillers. They're quite a new venture. Um, I'll put a link to them down in the bottom of the video because um, they started distilling here on the island using the water that's found here and, and some of the ingredients that are found on the island. Um, and I think they're mainly distilling gin, but I think the plans is to expand the business. Of course, coming around, we have Mapes of Millport, which is where we got the bikes from yesterday. And also, it's um, the toy shop on the island. They have a reasonably good section uh, for the Lego. And uh, you sometimes find stuff in there that's maybe not been available for quite some time. Um, there's the Nail Beauty Spa that I think Morag has used once or twice and wouldn't mind using again. Um, the Wedge. Now, the Wedge is a record for the narrowest property in the UK or the world or something. I'd have to double check that with Morag. But yeah, it holds a record. Well, recorded as Britain, there you go. Recorded as Britain's narrowest house. And it is literally that little bit just above that door. And I'm assuming that it, it goes back. And I would imagine it widens out a little bit in there, but who knows. And then uh, moving along, there's a variety. There's a hardware, DIY shop, a bank. So there's, there's a few bits and pieces along here. And then of course you've got the hotel on the pier where we went for dinner last night. Then the chippy and then Fraser's and that just round the corner there. You found a house? Because I could walk down to my manicure. You wanna buy that one? Is yeah. anyone gonna spare 75k? Oh, I, I, I scream, you I scream, we all scream for... I scream daddy hugs! We all scream for daddy hugs apparently. There's also a good selection of crafty type shops that sell all sorts of stuff from Millport memorabilia, so just general little signs and drafty stuff. And apparently, nets. So no trip to Millport is complete for us without going into the Rich Cafe for some ice cream. What you got, mister? What have you got there? With? Chocolate sauce. With? With chocolate sauce. And? With, cho and with chocolate sprinkles. Yum, yum. And what's mummy got? It's called the marshmallow ice. And what's it going in? Vanilla ice cream. Marshmallow sauce. Like, melted marshmallows on it. Raspberry sauce and a wafer. And a teaspoon. It looks delicious. And it's the teaspoon. And I've got the same. And these are a tradition whenever we come in here to have these. Because uh, I don't think I've ever seen them anywhere else. Look at that. Oh, gooey. Mmm. That's good. Hot chocolate. No, a You got the hang of it, the steering. <laughs> Stop! 
steady. You got a seatbelt in that thing. <laughs> I swear down, he's gonna get whiplash. You're bouncing lots. Oh. Do it again. Wow. You can do a forward tumble. Go on then. Forward roll. Way. Fantastic. You pull the rope. Is that good? Right guys, how's your ice creams? Good. Can I get a thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up! How was your ice cream, dude? Good. We're good. Did you enjoy it? With lots of sprinkles. Right, how about the bouncing and swing boats and things? Did you enjoy that? Did you get bounced around a little bit too much, mister, in your uh, bouncy car things? Were they a little bit rough? I think they were. <laughs> right, so yesterday you got pre we all got presents, but you didn't, so here's a little something for you. Hand. There you go. Come up your eyes now. Oh, look at that! Do you know what that is? It's a crocodile. What is it? Have a look. It is. Look over there. It's, it's, it's a crocodile. Keep it crocodiles. Crocodile. Over there, we'll go see him in a minute. Do you want to tell the viewers all about the rock? Can we tell the story now? Or should we do that when we go over there? Yeah. Right, kids, do you want to close your eyes and hold out your hands? <laughs> Just keep your eyes closed for a minute, Grace. Wow! There you go. Can you, can you let me take the net a second? To it's Mario! It's Mario! And what is it? Who you got? You got a Care Bear Pez dispenser. And you got a. Show me your Mario one. Your Mario Pez dispenser. Right, let's go to the crocodile. Go and help her. <laughs> okay, you don't need to go help her. She's perfectly capable herself. Okay, some people behind sound like they've just got engaged. They've just popped champagne. So congratulations to those folks. So can you tell us a bit of the history of the rock, Mo? Sorry. Back over to me in the studio. It's a rock that stood in the middle of Melport, I would say. Just beside the sea uh, for over 100 years. And islanders come and visit it and get a photograph taken on it as do tourists and I would say it's certainly famous across the whole of Scotland if not world famous now and when I tell people about my holidays in Millport that's one of the main things that they talk about is oh have you been to Crocodile Rock? What happened when we just tried to take a photo just now? I got stuck down on one knee. You were stuck down on one knee and asked me to renew our wedding vows which of course I said yes well, you know you didn't, you said. <laughs> oh, right then, let's go. All right then, go for it. It was more <laughs> to the point that we went across there just now to do our photograph and set up the... You are the king of the castle. You're the king of the crocodile rock. We went across to do it. And unfortunately, technology let us down and the <laughs> selfie stick little uh, trigger button didn't work. So, it's, it's, so we don't have a photograph. So we've gone off grid and we had a private moment on top of crocodile rock where I asked if we could renew our wedding vows around about our 10th wedding anniversary. So that's pretty much the last thing we've got to do on the island now. All we've got to do really is pack up and uh, head for the ferry. Right guys, so for cycling around the island, mm -hmm. we've got something for you for doing that, okay? And Mummy's gonna give them to you now. Mm -hmm. Hands out, close eyes. Hands out, close eyes. Oh, you've done it already. You've got rehearsed. Okay. Turn it up, turn it up, like me. <laughs> it says, make some Millport cycle hire and toy shop. Presents a certificate to can I have your Grace, to, to Grace and to Daniel on 
14th the 14th of, the of August 2022 for cycling around Cumbria, covering a distance of 10 and a quarter miles. Or 16,495,776 millimetres. That's a lot of millimetres. That's a lot of millimetres. So you can have them to go up on your bedroom walls. Yay, Fabaruni! And dude, did you want to show us something else that you've been doing yeah. while you've been here? What's this? I built a big robot and there's, some, and there's somebody inside it. There's but somebody inside I it, is there? I don't want to break it because that means I would have to build it back up again. Why don't we see who's inside? Okay, go on, let's see who's inside. Show me. Show me who's inside. Can you see them from your side? Can I come around and find them? Who's hiding inside the robot? Oh, is there somebody hiding down here? Oh, <gasps> Who's in there? It's a little Care Bear. It's a little lucky Care Bear. He won't be very yeah. lucky if he ends up being left here. So yeah. maybe we should get him out. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the boot packed. Is everybody else packed? Yeah. Children, packed. children are packed. No. Soft toys are packed. I've got all the soft toys. I might have forgotten a child because I can't see it. Mario's packed. Mario's packed. All the rubbish to take to the bins is packed. Is it time to hit the road? Yeah. Okay, let's go. So we're just heading along to the ferry. And we can see that the big one is currently on the slip. And luckily I think we're going to get it. It's due to go in about two or three minutes. So it looks like we've maybe timed this just right for getting off the island. Um, fingers crossed that it's not going anywhere because it's um, just there. They're just bot loading it now. And we're just about to meet and the end of the queue. Like we're going to be in a queue, so hopefully we can get on. Woohoo! That's us departing the Isle of Cumbria for probably the last time this year. I don't think we've got any more plans to go down. And it's it, the weather's turned. It is not pleasant out here. I am getting really quite wet. But it's been quite good. It's been a good trip. Uh, we've had a lot of fun. We hope that you've enjoyed the trip so far with us. And uh, we've still got a couple of places to visit along the way home. We're going to head up the coast. Uh, no, that's the bottom of the Mulport. Uh, we're gonna head up that coast just over there because we came over the hill originally, which is kind of behind as you can kind of see. But we're gonna head back by the coast and we'll see a few different things along the way. So that's the lot ridden, the smaller ferry that we came over on on Friday, and that's just heading across to the slip on Cumbria over there. And this is the Luxura built in Glasgow, which is the bigger ferry that uh, gets used heavily at this time of year. and drunkenness and the great arm dragon of um, keel over. over. Keel over. Aye, it was too much fun. As long as the boat doesn't keel over, we're all good. Right, let's see if we can get a wave. Can we get a whoop whoop? Can we get a whoop whoop? And can we get a wave from... No, no they're not paying any attention. No, not paying attention no. on the way out. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> Look at that big wheel, guys. What do we think of that? Good. That looks awesome. So we're passing through just now is Weems Bay which is one of the places you can get another ferry across to, I believe, Rothsey. There's a big ferry in there just now. And the ferry terminal and the railway station are one and the same. It's one big sort of complex, and it's a really nice old railway station. And there's actually a train in there just now, I suppose. Um, it's really nice. It's a really nice run down from Glasgow down to Weems Bay on the train. Um, and it's a really quite iconic station at the end, which has been used in TV commercials. Um, sadly, the view across from here today isn't great because of the rain. So our next stop lies here at Bray Head. What am I doing in there? Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> Hello. 
there is no limit to memories. This is not your phone. What are you having, mister? Which one do you want? Here you go, mister. How's your, how's your balls? You got good balls. Can we tell a funny story? Go on. So, we see you whatever his name is and I, thought we'd be clever and go up in the left. But we thought we got a shot in the left because we were going like, let's go and it's not open. We can't press a button. And then we turned around and realised everyone was just watching us because uh, we were supposed to spin round in the left and the back door had opened. Oh dear. <laughs> so dinner looks good. No, we thought it was. We've got Swedish meatballs. That works. And we've got some sort of spring soupy thing here, which someone may or may not like. You may see in a second something different. Is this you just pretending you're in your, your new little living room? What you got there? Got a giant chicken, giant bear. Is that a giant bear? No! <laughs> oh. What are you doing in there? You're not a baby anymore. <laughs> Can't take these two anywhere. He still fits. That's cool. Oh wow, well, look. It's an interesting way of doing Lego storage. Oh, look, it's a mini, mini Kallax 4, 4x2. That's really good. What are you looking at? Looking at the yellow sword. Oh, that's cool. Draw. That's like a drawer, but you could use for hanging your clothes in. Yeah. What's that? That's another big drawer you pull out with your clothes in. Hello, us. What's down there? Is like a little cupboard with more hanging real spares? The top one? I bet it's another cupboard with more hanging real spares. You know, it's just like drawers and things. The box is pretty That's cool. Do you like that one? I guess this is all the stuff that's in their Lego sets. These lampshades are a really cool craft idea, just buying the plate lampshades and then turning them into like Lego minifigures. You say you're deaf to do some homework, you need to turn the lamp on. Does that do different colours? Oh, it does. That is so cool. He's his laptop, doing his sums. And then the best thing then is you can put your laptop away, can't you? And then you get your Lego down, and, you, and if you, do, you put your laptop away and then build some Lego. <laughs> if you get into the top, if they haven't sealed it with cable ties. That is so cool. I want to go in. <laughs> oh look, it's like a little purse that looks like an Ikea shopping bag. See if you can find Daniel's panda. Could be in his bed. Could be in his bed. Maybe he's gone back to Pandaville. Pandaville? You know where pandas come from? Yeah. Oh wow, Grace, look at that star up there. That's cool. Look at those cool light fittings. I don't think it is. I once tried pulling the handle on one of them, one of the bits fell off. It was very embarrassing. So we went hunting for your panda. Yeah. She never found it. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't. She didn't look carefully enough to where we put it. Yeah. Oh well, never mind. Successful shopping trip? Yeah. Successful? Yeah, just worked for the glass. It's all good. And finally, we are home. That is what, about quarter past nine? Late quarter past nine, and we were on the 2 30 ferry off um, Cumbria. So uh, it's taken a little while to get home, um, but since we left IKEA, we've been hit by road closures, roadworks, dreadful weather. What? It's taken a while to get home, um, but we're finally here. We've had a good time. We've had a good four days. I take that as a yes. <laughs> we have kind of got two sleeping people. Oh no, one's woken up. He's looking around. The other one's still fast asleep. Yeah, two sleeping people. But have we had a good time away? We have. We've had 
a lot of fun and we hope you have too. Thanks very much for coming along with the journey with us and we'll see you in our next video. Till next time. Bye.